<laughs> hey everyone, this is Julia, the Nomadic Crafter, and I'm here with a thrift haul video. The most awesome part of my thrift hauls is that the clothing I'm getting is not for me. It's for my business. So that's wonderful because I get to shop and instead of losing money, I'm going to be making money. You know, one of the biggest businesses these days is recycling or upcycling clothing. And you're thinking, big business? Well, maybe not like oil, but it is a huge thriving business, a business where people take recycled clothing and retransform it or deconstruct it and reconstruct it into new clothing. And it's huge. Just go on Etsy and type in upcycled clothes or upcycled dress or upcycled t-shirt and just see how many thousands of pieces come up from hundreds of makers. And let me tell you something, you can do this too. You can do this as a side job to make extra money, to have a fun hobby, or to make it as your regular main income, like I do, traveling around in my van, trying to find places to sew, sewing this stuff up and selling it in my Etsy store. It's just another way to get by, gain some independence, and have a lot of fun. Oh, and lest we forget, help save the world. Because you bet I want to try and help do that. And recycling these clothes is saving them from the landfill. Um, saving them from not being used because there's one little rip or a, or a stain at the bottom of them. We're so um, apt to throw everything away. I love recycling. So um, I'm going to show you the haul of clothing that I got today. And what I've been making lately are my t-shirt dresses and mix match dresses, which if you've seen my previous videos, um, I'll put one at the end of this video. You can go watch that if you haven't seen it. Um, I like to put together t-shirt dresses and mix match dresses. And I sell them in my store on Etsy called California Patchwork. You can go to Etsy.com slash store slash California Patchwork to get there and check out my pieces. Um, along with this whole movement of upcycling and recycling is a renewed interest and appreciation for handmade um, items as well as one of a kind. People want to wear clothing that's one of a kind, even if it's a pair of jeans that just has something unique about it and personalized about it, because people are getting tired of wearing the cookie cutter clothing that um, all of the companies are producing for us. Uh, so, it's a really good thing. Um, I wanted to point out that you can go to Walmart and get a basic sewing machine like this little brother, which I got for maybe 80 bucks, I think. And um, it's got all these different stitches here. Um, but basically, you can just go forward and back and side to side and then these stitches. And that's all you really need to have to start sewing. So I encourage you ladies out there, go ahead and get yourself a machine thread it up and get to sewing and gain some more independence. So now I'm gonna show you what I got. I got primarily tops and bottoms. So first I'm going to go to the tops and show you what I got. So first let's get a regular t-shirt here. I really liked this one because it said inspired by hope. And again, typically I would just take a t-shirt like this and put a floral skirt with it and make a little dress. Now I often get really boyish shirts like this one. And uh, I didn't get it a few times that I saw it in there, but finally I did get it. And I can't wait to put a real girly skirt with that. Many of the pieces that you get will be brand new. They just, people just have so much stuff. They donate stuff they're not wearing. I got this Pokemon brand new top for $2.50. So that'll make a fun little dress. And this is one of my favorites here. This little dress, Good Vibes Tour. I don't know what it's really talking about, but you know, I'll cut it right about <laughs> there and put a skirt on the bottom of it. And I love it. And then maybe I can even take the bottom and, and use the bottom for the bottom of a dress. I got a few other little sporty tops because I'm really into that right now. Um, it's sort of just like a running top. And I thought that would be cute with a little girly skirt. And this is a very similar one here. And I love the uh, day glow right there. Another thing that I'll do 
Um, and I got this for, it was on sale 30% off $350, so I don't know, $275 or something. Um, right here, it's otherwise pretty new, but right here it's missing just a little bit of this teal stitching. Well, I'm going to go over to Walmart and get some teal thread and I'm going to stitch that back on there and it'll be like new again. One of the beauties of having a sewing machine. And then I got this t-shirt, which is basically Costa Rica based. And it says, uh, and Pura Vida. So anyway, uh, Costa Rica, no army since 1948. Awesome. So I got those shirts. I also got a series of sweatshirts because I'm really into, if you saw my last um, t-shirt dresses, you saw the New York sweatshirt with a girly uh floral skirt and i thought that was really awesome so i got some more sweatshirts this one is a uh, eco sweats eco smart uh sweatshirt that is essentially brand new and it says rock and roll girl it's pretty bright and funky I have to find the right piece to go with that i loved this little one because it was all mustaches <laughs> so that'll be fun when i find the right match for it and that's the fun part, is finding the thing to match it with. And when you go on Etsy and you look up upcycled clothing, you'll find women who are doing very complex designs with their clothing. I'm really more into this simple pairing together of pieces, but I sometimes do more complex work with uh, recycled t-shirt parts and um, obviously patchwork um, pants. But yeah, you'll see all kinds of ladies doing all kinds of things you know, someone will take like uh, this neckline and cut it open and put a big red cowl neck there and then maybe cut this off and, you know, finish the edge and make it a short um, sleeve with a long sleeve. You know, you just never know what they're going to do with these things. And that's the fun of it. It is so fun, you guys. All right, here, this one I absolutely love because it's Brooklyn. So that's quite a find. This one isn't new, but it's meant to be worn looking so the fact that it is a teeny bit worn is okay oh i already have a good idea for that one and then this one i love it has a sporty um element to it with this the mesh arms i went and tried it on in the bathroom to see if i wanted to keep it for myself i like it so much but i'm more excited about making dresses out of it than i am about keeping it for myself so and then i got this last time i think i may have even shown you this uh, before but it's got it it's an interesting hoodie with sort of a big different kind of longer hood but anyways it says west coast stars so that's going to be another uh hoodie dress so i love that all right now for skirts again i wasn't able to find really any skirts to work with except i did get another one of these multicolor um uh, short in the front, long in the back skirts. And this one is really, really multicolor. I love it. So whatever one that goes with, you know, it's going to be super fun. And it could go with this sweatshirt. This is so pretty. It's going to be hard to actually cut it up. I might even try it on. It's just so pretty. Now, another thing I could do, as I've mentioned before, is sell on eBay. This is a near new and some of these brands might be really higher-end brands. This feels like a higher-end piece. But then I think, no, just use the high quality in your own pieces. Just use the pretty colors in your own pieces. So this is for a skirt. <laughs> and actually, I'm going to give up the ghost here. I'm going to put that skirt with this Brooklyn sweater. Because I think it's fun because it's so light. Um, and girly with this Brooklyn sweater. I don't know. I think it's going to go well. Anyway, you probably can't see that very well. All right. Chaos and Mayhem. Now, this is a really sort of funky one. And, um, <laughs> the color is really, you know, uh, questionable. But because it's lacy, I just thought it would be a really cool skirt bottom for, a sporty top so and I have to decide whether I'm going to just have it be sheer like that or am I going to keep the liner in there so that was another skirt and then I got this dress so there were a lot of lighter colors today 
Um, I work with a lot of earthy colors, but I like the light colors too. These, these pieces are like pieces of candy. I just love it. So that one, also could just sell that on eBay. Um, it's near new, but that's for a skirt. And then finally, I got your classic stripe piece. Now this piece was for a skirt. I can also use it for a top. So once I cut the skirt off, I have this stripey top um, that I could put with a rainbow skirt or some other skirt and see what it looks like. And that's what I do. I just start piecing stuff together and go, how does that look with that? Does that look good? Does that look good? Does that look good? Okay, the thing I don't like about this, for example, is the white on here is very, very bright and with the black contrasting. And the white on here is more of a, because this is a, a poly, and uh, the white is more of an off-white. So no, I wouldn't put those two together because it makes this white look dingy because this white is so bright. So these are the things you learn when you start putting them together. Intuitively, you're kind of like, ah, oh, it's kind of off. And you might not know why you feel that way, but go with your feelings because um, there's a reason. And in this case, I've pinpointed probably the main reason is the two whites are off and it just, it just clashes. But so I did get this for a stripey bottom and a stripey top. Now, the next group of pieces I'm going to show you are basically for mix matching dresses. And this is where I take a top and a bottom of different patterns or different things going on and put them together and come up with fabulous combinations. So, the first piece is, uh, I love this piece. It's this little sweater thing with this back. Fabulous. And this beautiful lace on the front. And then the sleeves. Really great sleeves. So this is a really pretty piece. And uh, guess what? It's brand new. So someone bought it and just didn't wear it. Or there was some flaw. Which I haven't seen any flaw yet. So I'd be really excited to put that together with something. Now this next piece I got last week. A couple weeks ago. And I, I don't know why I got this. It's, it's pretty ugly. <laughs> but it was just this. I love plaid. But I'm never going to wear it. I got it for myself. It was on sale. It was like $1.50. It's brand new also. Um, there's the tag. So it's pretty ugly. But I'm going to actually put. This stripe bottom with this plaid top. It's going to be fabulous. Wait till it's put together. I know. It looks crazy. It looks ugly even. It, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, part of the mix match section. Um, I also got this pretty Mexican-esque top that I'm really excited about uh, making into a longer dress, I think. So something will be put on the bottom of that. But it just has some really nice embroidery in nice condition. Nice new condition. And um, this was $4.50, 30% off. So there were a couple more expensive pieces that I did get. Now this one I love because of the stripiness and the back. So it's a blue stripe and I'm going to find a complementary uh, pattern for it. And this piece is actually Saks Fifth Avenue. So um, I get it for two fifty, yeah, I think just two fifty on this one. It's got side uh, stretchies, and it is a large. So that's going to be fun to find a piece to go with that. This next piece is absolutely crazy. I saw it for weeks. I mean, it's one of those pretty ugly or ugly pretty pieces. I don't know. I just love it. <laughs> so this is a green and gold metallic top. And I just, I'm feeling funky. So I'm going to put that with something and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I thought about putting it with, putting this or weird orange bottom with this green sparkle top. But I don't know. And usually when I don't know, I don't go with it. But on the other hand, when I have this many supplies and a limited time to sew potentially, um, I, I want to start putting stuff together. But I want it to be really, I want it to look good together. So anyway, this next piece is a large and I wish I could keep it for myself. I love it. It's also brand new and it 
Reminds me of Frida Kahlo. This is such a great little tribal top. And this is all woven here with some metallic thread. And it's just a great cut. And it's <clears throat> brand new. Excuse me, brand new. For $3.99, 30% off of that. So if in any way it fits me, I'm so keeping this. Otherwise, it'll make a pretty dress. And then I got this one is really nice too. I love how it's already a baseball shirt, but it's also a floral. So, and then it has this cute little um, lace there. And then the back's gray. So I already love mixing baseball with floral. And the final piece is this adorable little plaid sweater thing. <clears throat> and I'm really excited about um, taking the black part off the bottom and making a little uh, high-waisted, almost baby doll dress out of this. Jeez. So cute. Such potential. Oh, look, there's one more. So I have another little um, metallic -y, gold metallic -y, um tank top. So that'll be fun to find something to mix with that. So yeah. Oh, I also got this top. <laughs> Brand new. From Game of Thrones. So yeah. I already have enough supplies. Oops, one more piece. I have enough supplies, but um, I'm going to have to find some more pieces to go with some of these that I don't have the thing to go with yet. But some of this will just be... If we hit the road anytime soon, we'll just be coming with me to my next stop. Because I always want to have supplies in my van for sewing. Should I come upon a place to sew a really good deal or a great opportunity? I don't want to have to then try and go shopping in that town and find the one or two thrift stores that might be in that town. Um, some of the thrift stores are very expensive. One of the reasons I bought so much stuff at this one lately is it's so inexpensive to begin with. And then they keep having these amazing sales. So I go in there and they have great pieces. So it, it's a gold mine and I'm stocking up while I can. Now, one more piece that I got was this beautiful lavender dress. And as you can see, it's a patchworky theme with the outer stitching. And I love that. And it's near new, but it has a little... I can't even, it's so little I can't even see it. There's a little mark somewhere here. So I'm going to put some kind of cool patch on the front. And then I think I'm going to lengthen it and make it a longer dress. And then I might put like a heart on the sleeve. But yeah, it's super um, not worn at all piece. So someone got one little stain on the front and they had to let the whole thing go. And then Julia scooped it up for her traveling sewing business. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my haul today. So if you're into clothing, um, this might be a good field for you to get into uh, making upcycled clothing. It's very creative. The resource is inexpensive. The tools are inexpensive and um, easy to learn. Uh, the only other tool I have really is thread, scissors, and an iron, and everybody can use an iron. So I encourage you, if you have any questions about getting into upcycling clothing, just let me know um, in the comments below. And thanks for watching very much. Have a beautiful day.